Before the video starts, if you guys entered into the giveaway for this battery grip, stick around to the end of the video where I announce the winner. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, it's Freely. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about autofocus settings on the Canon M50 and what all of them are for and what all of them can do. But before we get started, if you guys are new to the channel, I'm Freely and I make videos about cameras, including tutorials and reviews with a main focus on the Canon M50. If any of those interest you, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. But let's get into it. Depending on the resolution that you choose, whether it be 1080 or 4K, will determine which autofocus settings will be available to you. So let's just start with 1080 because it's the one that I use the most. Um, the first thing is going to be face tracking. So this is pretty self-explanatory. If you're doing any kind of talking head video, kind of like what I'm doing right now, um, face tracking is gonna be the way to go because pretty much it's gonna be tracking your face and you always wanna be in focus, right? So yeah, face tracking, it's in the name face tracking. <laughs> um, the next one's going to be zone autofocus. So this is a little bit different from face tracking because it only keeps in focus a certain zone. And this kind of ties in with the one point autofocus um, with the only difference being that the zone is a very big autofocus box while the one point is a very, very small box that you kind of want to use in uh, situations where you want one teeny tiny point to be in focus. So with the zone, you can do kind of shots where you want uh, the stuff in the background to be in focus while the foreground has like something really up close and kind of blurred. Uh, while at one point, you kind of just want for just like one point, <laughs> uh, you will kind of want to like focus on a very, very specific point of like an object or like a face, um, that's where you would use a one point autofocus. That last one I have to mention is not technically an autofocus, but it's a manual focus setting and that is focus peaking. And if you guys don't know what focus peaking is, I made a video about it before, so check it out in the card above or in the description. But basically the gist of focus peaking is, is that it will basically highlight around it with like a color of your choosing of what is in focus. So you can pretty much like adjust the manual focus to have it at a very specific spot that you want to be in focus. So those are all the autofocus settings on the Canon M50. Um, if you go into the 4K mode, you actually lose access to the zone autofocus, giving you only access to the face tracking and the one point autofocus. I made a video talking about the best autofocus settings for the Canon M50's 4K. Um, basically, if you're gonna be doing um, any kind of autofocus with the 4K, um, definitely try to have a high contrast background uh, and foreground, because the face tracking changes to a contrast detection so you kind of want to have a huge contrast between you and the background so it knows what to focus on and you can also choose the one point autofocus and basically have the autofocus point on one area and then be sure to stay in that area um, throughout the recording of your video because if you ever move out of that little autofocus um, point um, it'll basically go out of focus because it's only focusing on that one part and the last choice if you're gonna do that in 4K is to do the manual focus peaking. You're just gonna wanna stay in one particular spot if you're gonna be doing like a video like this or if you're gonna be recording other stuff. The best use case is gonna be situations where uh, the subject is not moving at all because any type of movement um, closer or farther away from the camera will ruin the focus on that um, subject. So definitely check out my video on the focus peaking and the best settings for 4K autofocus videos in the description if you guys want to learn more. If you're shooting in 1080p, I suggest just staying in the face detection autofocus because it just does a really good job in most situations. I've dabbled a little bit with the zone and the one point autofocus, um, but the face detection in my opinion is the one that I mostly stick to. I'm probably in that setting like 95% of the time. So yeah, I, that's what I would recommend for 1080. But for 4K, I'd recommend shooting in either one point autofocus or the face detection and then just keeping the background or your um, entire frame very high contrast with the foreground and background but if you have very very high control over your composition or your frame definitely um, feel free to use the focus peaking because you can really nail down that focus with the focus peaking and you can get some really really cool and creative shots if you ever um, use it if you guys want to learn more about the Canon M50 definitely check it out in the card or in the description box below and I just go through all kinds of different topics relating to the M50 um, so yeah, be, feel free to check that out. If you guys found some value in this video, if you consider subscribing to this channel and hitting that notification bell and also liking this video if it really helped you out. 
And now to announce the giveaway winner for the red classic battery grip. Drum roll please. I really hope I say this correctly. This Umang or Umang. Chow, Chow Han, so, I'm, I'm so sorry if I'm um, saying your name incorrectly. But yeah, I'll have your Instagram right up here. Um, congratulations for winning the red um, battery grip. So that's just my first ever giveaway and that was really, really fun to actually do this because I got to see all you guys' different comments and like video ideas and just like being able to have something to give away to any of my viewers. It's just, it's a really, really cool feeling. But yes, I'll be DMing you shortly after I record this video to let you know that you won and to send me all your um, shipping information so that I can send this um, really beautiful grip over to you. With all that said, stay tuned for more giveaways in the future and for more info about the Canon M50 and all about cameras on this channel. Uh, but until then, I'll catch you guys in the next video.